Good day, good day. How the honk are ya? This is your friend Dano. Welcome to Roverland. Today we're going to be talking about the Matchbox Freelander. That's right, the Matchbox Freelander. What you're looking at right now is my display case of every paint variation that they did. Uh, now, according to the BAMCA, there is 31 variations, but that's uh, we're going to be talking about those wheel variations, uh, stamping on the bottom variations, stuff like that. But this pretty much is all the paint schemes that came out from 1999 all the way to present. All right, first things first, folks. This is going to be uh, a long video, or it's going to be part a couple of parts. Why? Because uh, the Freelander is a very popular model. You can see my pegboard with the uh, single packs that we're going to be talking about. Uh, but the Freelander was a big five pack uh, vehicle. Lots of five packs. So we're going to be talking about that. They did a lot with the Freelander. I'm not surprised that it didn't finally come out in the... Uh, the, uh, the Land Rover, the last five pack, the Land Rover uh, series vehicles uh, from uh, Matchbox, uh, the exclu exclusive to Walmart. All right, so we're going to take a look at this. Hold on tight, grab a, two or three beverages because <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. But uh, so let's get set up for that right here. One of the things that is uh, kind of unique about the Freelander and um, like I say, they uh, the the B M the B A M C A org uh, has a lot of uh, 31 variations, and a lot of them come in um, the first couple of years, and we'll talk about that. But uh, this is it, the Freelander, and 159th scale. This is uh, the example of uh, one of the first ones that came out, actually. Actually, this is, uh, I think, the second variation, <laughs> tell you the truth. But anyway, casting BM-406. Yes, new casting for 1999. I think it was received very well. Um, appearances, uh, series appearances. Let's just quickly go through them. Matchbox 2000 uh, logo models across America was one 2003 around the world in uh, 2004 and of course the Land Rover uh, series in uh, 2016 all right the thing is uh, 21 times multi-pack appearances and a lot of those were in five packs I don't believe any 10 packs as far as I know uh, there weren't any 10 packs but uh, they were in the five packs. So uh, yeah, what we're going to take a quick look here. Um, one of the variations that uh, is kind of common in the uh, first couple of years was the wheels. And if you look very closely here, if we can uh, focus in here, the wheels are different. Come on, guys. There you go. You see on the left, that's the earlier style, and it has bigger spokes on the wheels. Where on the one on the right, the spoke parts are a little bit smaller, okay? So that's one of the variations um, that they talk about over there. And um, we'll just take a quick peek. Some of them, uh, most of them are China. But there are some, and we'll take a look at, that are made in Thailand. Otherwise, it's the same basic vehicle. Uh, and we're going to take an exploded view of one of these also. So that is one of the variations. Right now, this one here uh, is has five different variations. And a lot of those have to do with the wheels, uh, the stamping, and the batches, and stuff like that. Which I don't have a lot of... Uh, that kind of information, but um, like I say, go over to B-A-M-C-A, and you can get the whole uh, rundown. 
But let's start off with uh, the first one here. And I'm uh, just pulling them off the wall here, my little display here. And uh, so this was uh, like one of the first ones that came out. And as you noticed, this is a square box. I'm not really sure if they, they didn't call these power grabs at the time, but uh, they were short boxes and they kind of hang, you know, they're no more wider than the, the regular cars. So I don't know if this is like a short card version for Matchbox back in the day, but this is number 61. And as you notice on the uh, door, it has the uh, Canyon Park logo but it is missing the Ranger banner across of it. So let's see if we can see that together. Can we see that together, kids? All right, boys and girls, there we go. Shabam! There's a variation right there. All right, so the wh that's one of the paint variations and packaging variations that I have. Now, the card comes with number 66 on it. And this is the Land Rover, Freelander, and uh, Ranger Patrol. Kind of just plain on the back, you know. And uh, just kind of just kind of neat. Now this one is uh, number 13. I don't know really why. I'm not really sure on the two differences here, guys, on uh, why they, they have these two different styles. Um... But it, it's interesting, and that's the whole thing is why I, I keep these carded as well as loose. And uh, I've got a couple more of those. Uh, the number 66. And uh, no really variations in those wheels. Uh, that was one of the variation is uh, this wheel on that car. All right, so we're going to move right along. Uh, so the first year, 1999, came with the, the badge without the Ranger. The second release was the Ranger, and uh, then they had batch numbers and no batch numbers. So uh, you, you got to kind of watch that there. All right. This is, I got so much stuff all over the place, guys. It's crazy. All right. So that was the next one. The next one that came out was in 2000. And it was the Canyon Base one here. A, um, I believe I believe this is the right one. Yes, the green one. And uh, that uh, did not, I do not have that in uh, a single card. But it came in the five pack. And that's where we're going to start looking at stuff here. In the five pack. And uh, China Base on this. And this had kind of the different wheels on it. And um, this is the five pack, uh, kind of plain generic on top. It was the prominent vehicle. Uh, this is a camper that pops up. A lot of people collect that camper. And uh, just, uh, yeah, Canyon Base. This was 2000. So there was two variations on this and I think it has to do with more of the uh, China base. Uh, versus Thailand base. I, I'm not really sure. So, all right. So then in 2000, we go to the next one here, and that is the blue one here, which was the uh, like a recolor of the Canyon base. And now this one came on a card. This. Uh, this is the one one of the variations of the uh, carded number sixty four. Now we're talking two thousand here. The wheels are a little bit different, as you see, a little bit different wheels. Now note that that doesn't have the the Ranger logo over or the Ranger banner over the logo. That's uh, that wasn't uh, during those years. The blue. Now interesting enough. This is what I had on the on the display board, and uh, the other thing. So I had a couple of the uh, I don't know the Ford Bronco on there on the Freelander. Yep. So that was kind of the next version. 
But then, also in that same year, um, 2001, uh, they came out with this card art. A little bit different card art uh, than the original one. Maybe we should compare those, huh? Yeah, the Ford, the Ford versus the fire engine. So there we go. So there's uh, another variation. Now they also did, and I gotta reach around here as things are falling all over the place. Uh, they did do a box version of that with. Uh, and, and they were kind of neat to find. A lot of these uh, in the packaging were twisted, and uh, by this time they put an extra little something in there so they wouldn't flop and turn around in there. So I remember it was kind of fun fun to kind of find them that uh, were kind of all twisted in there or t uh, turned around and stuff like that. But uh, the next one that came out that was kind of interesting in that year was uh, this one here. And um, I'm not sure if that came out in a five pack or if it was in the single. No, it'd have to be the single. But uh, this was the Matchbox 2000 year celebration. And it had it on the nose. Now, I don't have any of those in the package, but um, I, I do have one loose, a uh, little grimy, a little dirty, but it is one of the variations, except for the one in the display case, which we'll look at too. So that's another variation in that little bugger there. But uh, number 44, number 44. Now, later on, supposedly, uh, this one came with uh, flowerette wheels, which is uh, this one here. So that's another variation. It came up with the flowerette wheels, but uh, I don't have any of those. And uh, like I say, I'm just kind of going with the paint schemes there. Uh, so back to my notes here. We'll see how we're doing here. <laughs> uh, the next year, now I did have uh, a buddy of mine, D uh, Dean Tinsdale. He, he, this is one of my latest collections that I've got. Uh, this was the first, first gen, um, and it has the no banner on the, the car, and it came out with this card art. So, very kind of unique 2000. Uh, got the newer newer style wheels or the latest style I call them uh, with the smaller spokes in them versus the open more open spokes there I don't know if you can really see that but uh, yeah a buddy of mine south of me in Wisconsin found that he knows that I'm good for anything and everything that he goes to meets and and buys Land Rover stuff I'll buy it off of him <laughs> I try to buy stuff for him but he He's kind of a particular style uh, collector. He's got quite a collection, but he collects everything and anything already. All right, the next one we've got came out in 2001. And uh, as you can probably tell, this card got a little yellowed here. Uh, Team Tundra is the uh, name, the Land Rover Freelander. Got the fire engine on there, so we're already 2000, 2001. You can see on the back there the different uh, vehicles that were in that series. And um, very nice. Now, up until this time, um, this little bugger here was uh, only uh, plastic, plastic base, plastic interior, and we'll take a look at the construction of it. And, and metal body, but this one now was the first one with metal base, metal body. And it's a, it's a metallic colored uh, sparkly uh, silver there. And so very nice. That also came on the card, number 9 of 75. And it also came in that little box. Say guys, if you know what they call this, it's not a power grabs. That was much later and it is enclosed. This is a shadow box. Do you know what they called these things? Because I'd like to know. Everybody would like to know. But uh, they got the flower wheels. This is when they caught, came out with these, uh, they call them 10 spoke flowers. And uh, that's kind of exciting. Um, one of the things that I, oh, excuse me, earthquake. One of the things that I found in the wild myself was 
I found a tampo error. So this goes in my error collection. Um, there's no side tampos on it. There is on the top, but there's no tampos on the side. So I got that in a little protecto. I've got a little, uh, I've got a um, poster board that has all my Land Rover error stuff. That's kind of a different collection. So I pulled that off so I can show you that. That's, uh, that's one that I found in the wild so that's pretty neat pretty neat there all right i'm gonna keep hitting that bump and bump that camera all day long i can just tell it all right the next thing that we go on to is one of the more popular uh five packs that they loved to do the freelander in was the rugrats and that was a nickelodeon show and uh the first one that came out was this tommy and i plum and yellow now this one does sport a uh, metal base as well so I'm not really sure when they decided to do metal base or, or not but uh, this one has the 10 spoke flower and uh, now where did I get this one from oh Kmart $6.99 that was uh, the retail price at that point but not bad five cars and, and then being you know you got to pay for the uh, the licensing and everything like that so there you go that's the uh, the first appearance in the Rugrats so that that was pretty cool all right the next year 2002 came out and uh, they did um, what did they do they did uh, across America 50 states across America and here it is yeah, and they had these really long cards on them. We're going to take a quick measurement uh, of how long these cards are. All right, look at that. That's uh, eight, eight and a half inches long just about. Yeah, so they were a big card. They came with uh, a collector's uh, license plate in them. I've got one of those sitting right here. And uh, just a little license plate little plastic thing nothing nothing too fancy but uh, you could I don't know but they did all 50 states uh, Land Rover was in uh, two of them uh, the Rhode Island and this is the Rhode Island Yacht Club and then the other one was the uh, Discovery and we'll have to look at that when we do the uh, Discovery Spotlight yeah did we already do that I don't know check check it out down below I, I can't remember now but anyway there you go uh, the Northeast Northeastern collection and uh, yeah these are kind of uh, popular uh, you can get them yet today they they sometimes they call for a premium price sometimes they don't um, but I know I got a couple of these on the uh, on the uh, card and also, I've got a couple loose. Uh, this is this is the example right here, loose, and uh, it's really kind of neat. The the windshield is part of the headlights, and um, you know this one's got the metal base. Really nice, comes all the way to the edge. I like that that ribbing that they did on that, but it's got the 50th Matchbox on there, Rhode Island. Yacht Club, pretty neat deco on there, but a very colorful red, white, red, yellow, blue, very colorful, very colorful. All right, so the next one we're going to take a look at uh, that came out was uh, this one here. I got my I got my post-it notes, so I know where I'm not at. <laughs> All right, another Kmart here. Uh, 465 too bad uh, Kmart's gone now <laughs> but anyway it came out uh, with this one it was uh, team players five pack set and this was uh, 2002 and uh, it came with uh, a couple of different cars obviously five five of them and this is a maroon colored uh, metal base now it's got that metal uh, metal uh, I don't know, metallic base, so another one, but a beautiful uh, maroonish color to it. 
But interestingly enough, uh, the regular standard five pack, there was uh, another one that was uh, really kind of cool and I really haven't seen much of these around was this tube thing. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember where I got this from. I don't think it's got a price tag on it. But uh, this is that uh, players group, team players. And it's in, it's in a round tube. And um, I don't know, that tube is pretty long, pretty long. I, let's see, we're about there. So uh, 12, 17 inches long or so. And um, quite unique. And uh, this is kind of hard to do. Two, two and a half inches wide the, uh, in circumference or diameter. Diameter, yeah. But uh, very interesting. Um, like I say, I don't really remember where I got this from. Um, but uh, very interesting. I, like I say, I, do you guys have any of these? Uh, please comment down below if you've got any of these. They're, they're quite interesting. As a matter of fact, I think, nope, there was, uh, I've got two more tubes, and I, they've got the uh, Discovery in them. Uh, so when we look at the Discovery, we'll look at that. But very interesting, very interesting. So, all right, moving right along. The uh, next year was um, 2002 also. And here is the, what is this, the second uh, visitation of the... Um, Rugrats, Nickelodeon Rugrats, once again, the yellow base on it, metal, metal on metal, so very cool, Tommy, he always was Tommy, uh, the Freelander were always Tommy, I, I don't know about the other ones, I really haven't checked, but the Freelander was always Tommy, so that, that was kind of cool, so there we go, another five pack, like I say, they were indated with uh, five packs, and uh, talking about five packs, the next one here was 2003, and it was the Fire Station five pack. And um, Hero, Hero Cities, that was back in the day when they started doing the Hero Cities uh, collection. Just kind of really kind of neat. Kind of a glance around here. And uh, there's our Freelander in there. Now this is now by this time they were doing the uh, saw blade. Uh, Tommy there had the flower, ten spoke flower, but this has got the um, the uh, saw blade, and this is called uh, Fire Station, well number nine or something like that. Uh, plastic base now. Uh, so there's the uh, standard um, <laughs> five five pack. And I've got a crazy display for those five packs. Uh, I've got all my five packs in a different uh, display. And then I got this thing. <laughs> it's not a tube. It's a, it's a, now I bought this aftermarket four bucks for this thing, but it's a square. It's a, a rectangular box and uh, quite neat. Uh, very interesting. Uh, you, it's the uh, the Hero Cities collection, as you see, and um, you see our little Freelander friend there. He's in there. Same deco. They really didn't have any variations there. I think they they had a a, a batch number on the bottom uh, that was kind of a variation. Uh, plain black, uh, plain back cardboard. Um, but it's a piece of uh, this plastic, and it has a uh, support piece in there that clamshells on, and then it's glued to the cardboard. And you can see that. And uh, there's a reason why I'm kind of pointing this out, uh, the construction there. And this says, what does it say, 2000... No, I can't even find the date on it. You know, you're going to have to forgive me there. <laughs> But anyway, so this is the uh, rectangular thing, and I point out the construction uh, for this purpose here. I've got another one that I found. I'm not really sure where I got this one at. Same basic construction, but if you notice, 
you can see through it. The bottom or the back does not have the cardboard on it. it uh, it's got a sheet of clear plastic on it. So you can see the, the back side of the model. Sorry for the glare. Holy cow. But uh, yeah, so kind of uh, two different... <laughs> two different things so i got these hanging up separate because they're big and bulky and uh same thing but different um the the upc is the the same and all that but just built different i mean there's no way and like i said i studied this the cardboard is the plastic the plastic replaces the cardboard it's not like somebody peeled off the cardboard because that's not the way the cardboard one was uh, uh, constructed. So there you go. That's quite a that's a quite a little find. And uh, talking about quite a little find, I've got to set those down gently over here. This is the next thing I'm really excited about. This I have to uh, get a hold of uh, B A M C A and uh, let them know that I've got this. I've got one on the board there. So we're already up to here we're up to uh 2003 now i found these at uh, walmart i don't know if they were a walmart uh exclusive i have bought some off of ebay and stuff like that but uh most of them um i remember buying at the store in 2003 uh they were not over by the hot wheels and the matchbox these were over in the little kids Fisher Price area rescue heroes. Um, they had a peg over there, and uh, uh, why I mentioned B A M C A is they do not have this recorded as a variation. So apparently there would be thirty-two variations. Now I know that I bought a couple of these uh, new in the store. I do remember that, and then I did. I did. Uh, I was able to find some loose. I've got one in the display case up there still, and I've got a couple loose. I know, I think I found one of these in the wild all beat up loose too. Uh, that's in my jammer. We might take a look at that. But this is crazy. Now this is China, but it has that batch number, and that could be another variation, um, you know, thing, you know, if they have. But these all both have a batch number on them. Plastic base plastic interior red red windows to it and that red windows translates to the red headlights Woo! doesn't that look <laughs> kind of scary there but uh yeah greenish interior there but uh rescue heroes um once again like i say uh they're kind of hard to come by they don't call for a lot of money if if they don't know you know if they're selling it they don't want they I wouldn't say that they're rare, but uh, my goodness, BMACA didn't even have them. So I've got to take a picture of this and send it to them and uh, say, hey, this is a variation that you're missing off your, uh, your listing. Same deco on both sides. And the Rescue Heroes was uh, a TV series. What Was it uh, Nickelodeon? But they were uh, Fisher Price. But like I say, these weren't in the local in the in the aisle where the Hot Wheels and Matchbox were. They were in the little kids section uh, where the toddler toys and stuff were. Okay, let's uh, move right along. So I, I really like that. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna have to. I'm not even but halfway through. <laughs> what a what a way to end the video, though. We're going on 30 minutes almost, so we're gonna stop here with this Rescue Heroes uh, edition. If you've got one of these, make sure you comment down below. I don't know if they were just a Walmart exclusive. I know that's where I bought mine from, uh, Fisher Price. But, uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, as always, you guys, you got to remember, join me over on Facebook. I got a lot of people that come over there and make comments and, and leave pictures. That's really kind of nice to be able to converse back and forth on Facebook. So look me up at Roverland. And then on Instagram, that's Roverland Channel on Instagram. And as always, you know it, kids. Slow traffic, keep right. 
and have a great Rover Day!